It's week five of the NFL, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Seahawks and the Rams coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation moving. On third down, Carson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. We have a first and 10 forthcoming. We have a red zone alert as well as this offense looks to punch it in in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Dwayne Eskridge, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are on the board first on the road here in L.A. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. On third down, it's Carson, and he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. 95 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop. now they'll look to throw and he fires one that's intercepted picked off by David Long and the Rams are going to get it back here just shy of the 20 so this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week that's a turnover they didn't have any but given Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. To throw on second and six, Wilson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by David Law. And the Rams are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position... So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. 
Wilson now to throw on third down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. As they... Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, if this defense has any hopes of getting back into this game, they've got to start right here and keep these guys out of the end zone. That's a good step one on that play. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They run again with Carson. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Butker's kick here is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. This is when these guys make their money. Can the defense get the stop? Let's find out. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Anderson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. On first and ten, Anderson. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game.
So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Anderson. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. So we drop you into this situation. The game is tied. Late fourth quarter. This offense starting with the ball on their own side of the field. And they do have all three timeouts looking to get into field goal range. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Bottom line, two-yard gain's just not going to cut it in this situation. You've got to move the ball downfield in order to have a chance. Defense will give them that the rest of the way. Wilson to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing that. Wilson flushed out right catches made by Metcalf the Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and 10 just outside the 30 here's Carson and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. You got it. Now a timeout called it. for by the defense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. On third down, it's Carson. And yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. And they're going to get the timeout call. What a finish. We're down to four seconds to go in this football game. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. And his kick is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Seahawks, they move back over 500 at three and two now on the year. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for LA, they'll fall to one and four with a loss. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers.